Hi, it's Carmi and in this video, I just want to talk about something that has been on my mind for years, probably not just months. And it's very timely because right now I am PMSing, premenstrual syndrome, and I didn't really plan on doing this while I'm PMSing. But here we are. So yeah, that is about the unavailability of feminine products, specifically menstrual products here in the Philippines. And I'm also going to talk a, a little bit about um, masturbation and how it is taboo in the country and how it, and why it shouldn't be taboo. And just a little bit of my thoughts on menstrual cups or diva cup as some people might know it. So, I have been wondering for years why I've only seen tampons once or twice in my, in my life in grocery stores and for my whole life, twice, once or twice. And it doesn't really matter how many times I've seen it. What matters is that when you need menstrual products, where do you go? Grocery stores, right? I mean, that's your go-to place to buy um, menstrual products or feminine products because it's more accessible and more practical and twins and in case of emergencies right the problem is grocery stores here in the philippines don't really offer much options so where's the variety not just tampons okay other things that are concerned with our vagina, I can access them more on online stores or it's not really practical and it's quite a hassle like it's better to go to stores physical stores instead and also I'm not on talking about, I'm not only talking about tampons I'm also talking about the thing I will talk about later which is menstrual a menstrual cup Master cups and other stuff. See, I don't even know much, much feminine products or menstrual products, stuff like that, vaginal products. <laughs> Am I gonna get demonetized for this? I don't really care. Just what I want to talk about is why would I be demonetized, right? It's the human body for a reason. And like, additionally, we've trusted grocery stores since we were little. We buy food there we buy other stuff other necessary stuff like kitchen products and other stuff like that maybe it's wrong to trust grocery stores so much because there are better products outside grocery stores but that's my view about it we should have more access to products that are essential to our body also something that is taboo to talk about products that we use for pleasure so i don't know if you call it you call all of those sex toys but those type of products that we use for pleasure we are taught that those stores are a big no and i don't really understand why we should say that it's a no that we should not be doing that that we are binababoy natin yung katawan natin when we use that what we should be teaching younger people is that we should not venture immediately into those type of stuff into masturbation why am I saying stuff instead of the word itself we should not say don't do it because masturbation is not a wrong thing to do it's a it's a normal thing to explore our body. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of nervous too because my family watches my videos. So, continuing to the point of the video, masturbation should be normally talked about. The best correlation that I can think of right now, Daphne and Bridgerton. It makes sense why she feels betrayed because she was not told about those type of stuff, sexual stuff, 
and be there about it. It makes sense that she feels she feels agitated about it. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but she's quite petty. The way she acted was so petty. Anyway, she was not told about sex. She was not told how it works, and for that, she doesn't know shit about it. <laughs> she kind of looks dumb, not knowing those type of stuff, but you know, old days. As emphasized in that episode, sex education is very important, and sex education is not just about sex. It's also it's also about our body. When we make those when we make conversations about those stuff about sex education taboo, we deny information, necessary knowledge about it. We deny them, we deny ourselves to learn more, to be knowledgeable. When a person I've never done it so I don't really know, but when a person actually does have sex they are unaware of many important details and that may lead to wrong wrong things um or unwanted situations so before i continue i would like to talk about menstrual cups <laughs> why do i why did i introduce it like it was an ad it's not an ad i'm not sponsored in any way but i want to talk about menstrual cups because information here is a menstrual cup i'm not gonna show mine because obviously it has been used menstrual cup is a great alternative for pads because first pads are uncomfortable they i live in a country wherein it's always hot my vagina gets hot as well <laughs> using pads bring more heat to it and I I still use pads but it's really uncomfortable to do so with menstrual cups I'm able to move more because pads there are some movements that you can't do because it goes all over the place my advice when ordering menstrual cups is of course to use to read reviews because well we always have to do that when buying so we know they're trusted right so you know that the menstrual cup is soft and it will not hurt your vagina once you insert it when you're going to use it it takes a little practice sometimes it leaks but eventually when you continue on using it you know how to maneuver it in your vagina you <laughs> you rotate it until it's open inside so yeah i highly recommend it it lasts for four hours don't go beyond four hours because it'll be it'll have bacteria and stuff like that you have to clean it and to prevent it and prevent the cup being full because I mentioned insertion in the vagina I also want to talk about how frustrating it is that we live in a misogynistic society wherein we are taught that when you do something about your vagina oh, to me, Dylan. when you do something with your vagina you lose something down there like, huh? and yet when men do it they don't lose anything like fuck that so my main point about that is we should normalize as twitter loves to use we should normalize conversations about those types of stuff we're already women we already confirmed them so many things so why add to that we are shaped to be in this perception we're in virgin good not virgin bad oh. that's fucked up those are tropes that have been present in 
various media forms as well and that and in real life we are feeding the male gaze and fuck the male gaze and i'm also going to mention how religion also affects our perception about our body and yes we should take care of our body we should maintain how we take importance to our body but we should not be i wasn't able to expound on that what i was trying to put across is how toxic it is to instill a perception towards someone based on one's belief not everyone belongs to the same culture as you do not everybody has the same religion as you do and converting a person into believing the same thing as you do is not a form of saving or salvation in any way it is like colonization anyway so if i have something else to talk about i will just um editing carmi are you there yeah you got me right Thank you. So that is off my mind and not in the best mood because of my PMS and it sucks that women have to go through that every month. But anyways, I hope to talk more about this. Not necessarily about this topic but other serious stuff. Yeah, this is serious. I hope to talk about more serious stuff on my channel and I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the last time we're gonna see Juana 